Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video, we are going to show you how you can create map charts okay, in uh, Power BI. So map charts have a visual field map that you can use in order to create visuals that are um, location-based. And for us to perform something like this, your data model should also contain uh, data containing names of places. So I have here um, Southeast uh, Asian countries, wherein the country is one in one of the columns, and then the region or the city is in another column. And this is something that, of course, you need if you want to create a map chart in Power BI. Now, the first thing that you have to check is if your Power BI is set up to create uh, map charts. There's, so there's a special setting that you have to do for this kind of visual. So you have to go to File, and then under File, you have to go to Options and Settings, and then go to Options. And then you will have, of course, the list of options available in Power BI. So we're looking for the options that are related to security. So under the Global Group Settings, you should see there Map and field map visuals make sure that this is checked okay for us to perform map visuals in power bi and then once you have that checked then click ok so your power bi is now ready to perform map charts why do we have to do that well map charts would require connection to the internet and it's technically a security um, issue for some if you have to connect your your power bi to a database of um, places that's why you have to allow it okay in the security settings of the visual so now we have our uh, data here and just to let you know the data model is i have the sales a okay, table and then that is connected to the list of branches or sites that i have for my store if you need some help in creating data models you can visit another video that i created for this one but for now, our data model is already created. Don't mind that there are too many tables. I used the same file that I had in the previous video. So what matters here is that the sales data that I have is connected to the territories uh, table. And take note, the territory is acting as the parent and it flows to the sales, not the other way around. So from the list of territories or sites or places going to the data, the sales data. So now we're ready to create our visual. So we're going to the report view and go to the field map visual, okay? So we're going to click this one and now we have the field or the visual, okay, for this. And we're going to get our data, okay, which is a country and drag it to the location field of this visual. So your Power BI will now load the map and you will see that it now highlighted my um, Southeast Asian countries that I have in my data. And of course, I need some numbers because right now they just have the same color because I don't have any values okay, for this. So I'm going to bring in the sales order quantity and put it in the latitude okay, of my report. So it's giving me the average order quantity. I don't want that. I want to use the sum instead. So you will notice that it's as if nothing is happening in the report. And that is because if you remember, whenever you create a visual in Power BI, let me demonstrate this real quick. If you create a visual in Power BI, like country in the x-axis and then order quantity in the y-axis, it will have the same color, right? You only have one color here, the color blue. The same is happening in the map visual. We're getting the same one color chart, okay, that is the default of Power BI. So we're going to apply some color changes, okay, for this report. So that means we have to apply a certain conditional formatting, okay, to the visual. So I'm going to go here in the visualizations pane and click the format your visual option. So make sure that your visual is clicked and then click the format your visual option. From here, we'll see some settings. 
And we have only a few settings in this uh, kind of chart. They only have map settings and we have the fill colors. So for the map settings, it allows us to choose the type of map that we want. So we can choose an aerial map or a light map, okay, or a dark map. Totally up to you. So the default that we had was a road map. And well, that's fine. I think though another would be better. Let's stick with this one, grayscale. But of course, you can choose any of this. And then I'm going to explore the controls here. So it allows us to auto zoom, meaning you can zoom your data. You can also switch on some zoom buttons, okay, so that you can simply click here in order to zoom into the map. So I think that's a nice uh, touch or feature. So I'll keep that there. Now, the colors are under another setting here, the fill colors. So you see here the typical change color okay, of a visual. You can choose from the drop down here and you will have a different color. But that's not what we want. We want different colors for each of the elements or each of the data. So that would be conditional formatting. So I would click the FX or the conditional formatting button right beside here. And you will see that we have the conditional formatting pop up in Power BI. So I could create rules here. Like if the value is something, then the color should be like this. So this is conditional formatting in Power BI. So uh, let's say that instead of using rules, I'm going to use a different approach. I'm going to use the gradient approach so that Power BI will just apply the colors based on the value from one color to another forming a gradient-like um, effect. If you want to be more specific about when it changes color, you can choose the rules approach, wherein you have to create a rule for each color that you will create, that you will assign. For now, I will go for gradient. And one thing that you have to make sure that you do correctly whenever you do conditional formatting is choosing this or selecting from this drop-down the correct field that you want to base the color of your map or your visual for at that point. So instead of the count of country, I'm not really concerned with that. I'm more concerned with the sales, right? The order quantity. So I'm going to go to sales and look for the order quantity field. So by default, it will say sum, but of course you can change that over here if you want to base it from a different um, summarization. But for now, the sum of sales will do. And then I can choose the next is I can choose the value and then the color that I want. So let's say the lowest value will be, let's say, the typical red. And the highest value will be, say, more colors, and I'll choose green. If I want to add a middle color, there's an option here for that. Add the middle color, and let's set it as yellow. Take note that you can assign a certain value if you want instead of having Power BI uh, determine when it turns red, yellow, or green. You can simply change this to custom and enter a specific value okay, when the map or that city or that country should remain red okay, if the value is at this point, what is the lowest value. But for now, I let Power BI determine what the lowest value is. Of course, you can feel free to customize many of this and then click OK. So now we see that we have different colors okay, for my report okay, in Power BI. So I have a green color here for Philippines, yellow for Laos, and then uh, I, I'm not sure if you can see the difference, but there's a slight difference in the color of the countries. They just look the same. They look like orange, but Thailand is a lighter color versus uh, Malaysia over here. And now that's it. We already have a map chart in Power BI. So. If uh, I hope that helped you okay, in this uh, video. And if ever you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section. I will try my best to answer as soon as I can. And if this video helped you at some point, we would appreciate a comment or a like or a subscription to the channel. It really helps us uh, be motivated, creating more videos for you whenever we see those like, subscribe, and comment. And um, that's it for now. Thank you. And I will see you in the next video.